So I'm coming up on the year that I'd be able to apply to get my flood card, which I'm not sure if I want to do. I don't know if it's the right move because it's such a detail oriented, very important, very specific thing. You know, these people's yeah. lives have been turned upside down and that's your responsibility to try to bail them out of that as fast as you can. And that's, it's so much pressure. I mean, I, I really hats off to any real flood adjuster that is out there fighting the good fight for these people. It's, man, that's yeah. a lot. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. So let's talk a little bit about um, sort of like, I guess, going into the future for for you and a person like you who's kind of a few years into your your career. What has been the like the primary thing that you've done so far? It sounds like you've you've been doing private flood and then you did maybe did a little bit of NFIP in the beginning, right? Very beginning, yep, yep, a little bit of NFIP. Um, so I'm coming up on the year that I'd be able to apply to get my flood card, which I'm not sure if I want to do. I don't know if it's the right move because it's such a detail oriented, very important, very specific thing. You know, these people's yeah. lives have been turned upside down and that's your responsibility to try to bail them out of that as fast as you can. And that's, it's so much pressure. I mean, I, I really hats off to any real flood adjuster that is out there fighting the good fight for these people. It's, man, that's yeah. a lot. Um, I ultimately, I want to be a field support manager and go okay. out there and, you know, just love on people and say, you can do it and show them how to do it and be out there on their first claim when they're looking at it, like it has three heads and a tail and it's like, it's okay. This is where we, where we start. Right. This is how we do this. Um, I, I think that would be a really, really cool job. I know I'm not there yet. I'm not quite sure how much more time I have before I am there or if they have maybe like a junior position for that or something like that. But that's ultimately what I'd like to do is be a field manager. Sure. So, so have you, how much work have you done on roofs? Like climbing ladders? Oh, tons, tons, okay. tons. Right. So yeah. Sounds like that doesn't bother you. So no. um, I did field support on Hurricane Sandy and mm -hmm. that was in 2011, 2012, right? 2012. Mm -hmm. Um, and you're right. It, it was probably as an, as a claims professional, it was probably one of the most rewarding things that I did because especially on a hurricane, you, most of the people that end up on your team, cause you're going to get assigned like adjusters, right? That you got to like, kind of, they're your, your people. Yeah. Most of them were brand new. Right. And they yeah. didn't have the time management piece. A lot of the stuff that I teach on adjuster TV and adjuster TV plus comes from that experience as a field manager is like, what is the number one thing that's going to help somebody like, you know, you, you watch their, their body language change from like their shoulders are all scrunched up and they're, they've got like a, you know, a, a mask of pain on their face all the time, right? What's the, the one thing that's going to make them relax and smile, right? And like, take a deep breath and breathe it out, right? And that one thing I found was, let's, let's, Let's figure your schedule out, right? And it, if, even for me, and if you, I'm sure you probably can, you know, sort of feel me on this. If I show up on a storm site or I'm getting like new assignments, I'm there's it's an open loop, right? I'm I'm under like a higher level of stress when oh, I yeah. know I've got a stack of files that I got to contact, right? I get these people have oh, to be yeah. scheduled and contacted, right? Second that happens, then it's all it is is a matter of like all I have to do now is just follow my just. What's next? I'm okay. Nine thirty. I'm doing this right at two forty five. I'm doing that right at five yeah. o'clock. I'm getting a haircut. You know, I'm getting a wall change at nine. I'm, whatever it is, right? It's all. It just builds into your schedule, and that's what you do every day. So it, it kind of offloads. Like, long story short, on this, uh, like offload, it sort of outsources like part of your brain into your schedule, and then you can focus on like just inspecting the losses, closing the files, you know, calling people back, that sort of thing, and just fitting all that stuff into the rest of your your schedule. So yeah. I and, and going out and meeting people. Because you, you, this, it's you're absolutely right about this. This role is that they will you get calls from from an adjuster on your team. And they'll say, "I have this one. It's a 500 year old tree, and it's on a you know three million dollar house, and it's four stories and whatever." And I mm -hmm. have in New York, you have several of those. 
Wow. It's like, oh yeah, we're okay. We'll, we'll, I'll meet you there tomorrow at two o'clock or whatever it is, right? We'll meet the contractor. I'll just get everybody there. And mm -hmm. you pull up and you're like, I mean, and it's, it's like the Adams family house with like the gingerbread oh, wow. stuff and it's spires so cool. and then, and a gigantic tree is like crunched over on the side of it. And you can see the turrets all like smashed over and it's, it's slate tile, you know, uh, oh tiles are all over the front yard. And, and they're like, they're, you can see, I mean, their shoulders are up and they're like, I don't know what, I don't even know yeah. where to start on this. Right. Well, let's right. start at the start at the start. Right. So let's go talk to these people really quick. Let's talk to the contractor. Let's, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then sit in the truck and let's write this thing up. Oh, are you serious? Like, dude, you're going to have to write it up at some point. Let's just, you're, we're here. Let's just do it right now. Yeah. Well, I, I, okay. I, sure. I guess so. Yeah. So, well, let's start at the top and work our way down, you know, whatever. So, and it's, it's not my claim. So I'm just like, you know, I don't, you don't have that pressure. It's, it's a really cool, it's a really cool role. Yeah. So I'm not under a lot of pressure from like, well, I have to turn this claim in and if I mess it, it's still going to get file reviewed and QA'd right. somebody else. Right. But I'm going to help this person get through it. And we pull, you know, I I'm like, our, we finished the file, right? Let's, you know, we're not done yet. We're going to do our activity diary in the GLR really quick. Let's do your invoice. Let's just do the thing right now, right? So do it. Now I close your laptop, go get some dinner. And we'll, you know, if you have any other you know, questions on other claims, just give me a call. See you later, right? And thank yeah. you so much, dude. And it's like a, you know, $250,000 claim or $400,000 claim or whatever it is. They still have to get approved and everything, but... Right. It, it's, it's a lot of fun. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.